What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I get asked a lot about what batteries to use with solar panels, with uh, off-grid solar panel systems. I get asked a ton if you can use car batteries. So today I want to go through four different types of batteries and kind of the pluses and minuses of using them with solar panel systems. Let's start out with lithium ion batteries. Those are extremely common in small electronics and I don't have a, an, this is one from a cell phone, I don't have a, an example from, uh, these are also used in like smart cars, um, you know hybrid cars that use, that use uh, electric motors um, and they are made up of individual cells connected together. These are not used in solar panel applications um, yet. Uh, the technology will be there, but with charge controllers like this this Morningstar TS45 that I have, um, they don't have the technology, the, the charging algorithms and so forth to be able to charge these these individual cells and take care of them. So the technology is just not there yet. So the lithium ion batteries like this or their derivatives are not usable in solar. The next one I want to show you is a sealed lead acid battery. Uh, these are these are filled with fluid inside, but they they are not um, user serviceable. Basically, I know there's videos out there of how to do it, but really you can't. There's nothing you know. As I'm flipping this over on its lid, there's nothing um, to there's nothing to maintain with these. These are a little more expensive per amp hour than say a flooded lead acid battery like that and uh, these are perfect for using in small solar panel systems in fact on my smaller system I have uh, a couple of these wired together to provide my my battery uh, power so these are great um, to a certain point you don't want to use these with big systems because these are more expensive um, for the battery capacity than other options Car batteries. Uh, these are otherwise referred to as a flooded lead acid battery. Um, they are user serviceable, so you can uh, replace the water that uh, evaporates out of these. But the difference between these and, say, these flooded lead acid batteries that are for renewable energy is, is significant. Uh, and the way I like to describe that, this is a, like a sprinter. Uh, car batteries are meant to provide a lot of juice fast. They don't last very long and they're not meant to go very long between charges. Um, so think of it like a sprinter. They run qu fast races quickly, provide a lot of power, a lot of juice. Um, whereas these are meant to be drained slowly over time and meant to, p to be drained much further down. These, these you can drain down to 50% no problem over and over again. These, if you drain them more than about 10%, if they go below, let's say, 11 volts or so, they're basically dead. You, you can't revive them. They're permanently damaged. So you can use these in solar in an emergency if you have to, but just keep that in mind that you don't want to use these for very long. Um, if you're using backup power, you know, run this for five minutes, but then turn it off. Um, you do not want to, you'll, you'll kill these things quick. So the last option, this is my live uh, system. These are, as you can see, these are golf cart batteries, but they're basically, for all intents and purposes, the exact same as you would buy for a renewal, renewable energy dedicated type of a battery, like a Trojan T105 or so, something like that. These are six volt individually, and I have them wired in series and then parallel. Um, to, to give me my my uh, battery bank but anyway that you can watch another video on that uh, these like I was saying these are like marathon runners instead of the sprinters these are meant to go long a long time and, and take the abuse over and over and over again so these are what you really want to use when you get to a certain size of a system you do not want to you know, string together a ton of these. Now this is a smaller one. You can get bigger sealed lead acid batteries than that, but um, these are quite a bit more expensive. These were only 80 bucks a piece. So, 
and a similar sized sealed lead acid battery to this would be you know 150 plus so you do have to maintain these you do have to um, fill these up with fluid you can see that there's fluid in there but um, they do require a little maintenance but that these are what you want to use in a solar panel system of any significant size um, so anyway um, like so let's review lithium ion technology is not there yet sealed lead acid perfect for small systems say you've got a 20 watt panel or a 50 watt panel or, or under these are great don't use a car battery unless you absolutely have to or you don't care if it dies because you may kill it um, by over discharging it and golf cart batteries um, renewable energy batteries uh, telco batteries all those kind of things those are meant to be or deep cycle batteries you can get deep cycle batteries for marine use uh, anything that's deep cycle um, or meant to be discharged and recharged over and over and over again that's what you want to use that's going to save you money in the long run and take the abuse anyway thought i'd clear that up for you guys thanks for watching